Cool. I see another question here. How do you view Theta and its competition to Live Peer? Yeah, I think Theta is a you know super super ambitious, uh, well well meaning, well intentioned project that's also trying to um, you know be a Web three video infrastructure. I think a couple of differences are that Theta has started with a and emerged from a consumer app platform, um, Sliver TV, which has turned to Theta TV. Um, as such, they you know have have talked a lot in the early days about kind of the creator economics and rewarding the streamers and and streamer monetization mechanics which are all super important things that need to exist at the application level and that all the apps building on my peer um you know should also be thinking about i think theta is also focused a lot on um, the role of content delivery in their network and uh, kind of incentivizing a a CDN to exist, whereas Live Peer has started with this um, compute layer and uh, transcoding and you know open source software around the media server and solving some of the problems around verification of work and things that can really be the kind of the the basis for a truly decentralized foundational video infrastructure. Um, so I think today, you know, Live Peer is focused on the infrastructure layer. We want to see many applications built on top of Live Peer. We don't have a consumer app that would be competing with our our users. Um, and just a, a kind of true commitment to open source, commitment to the technology and kind of a video first um, approach as opposed to kind of a, um, you know, more creator or content first approach that we've seen within Theta are just some of the differences. Um, but ultimately, you know, my peer and, and Theta and many other projects in the space are all trying to push kind of Web3 and decentralized video forward and i think there'll, there'll be uh, you know areas where we look similar and there'll be areas where we look compl complementary could even be users of one another's uh, applications